Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a short video and it's over, we're going to get rid of the light box. If you ever need a drawing or paint program, ZBrush actually has one inside of there and I often forget it's there. I'll probably rarely use this unless I have a computer that just has ZBrush or I can't install it on a, maybe you're at an office and you can't install your own programs and you need a paint program in a crunch and you don't have access to something else you can click this button and it will open up a paint program now you can adjust your color schemes the thing I notice is careful not to touch the user interface layout because it'll pull up all of ZBrush default uh, setting or interface ZBrush is still running underneath this but if you go over to the side, you can see you got charcoal. You can start sketching. You got different brushes. That's pretty cool. I like that you can kind of jump back and forth. Uh, you got a pencil, different intensities. Uh, we'll go to two, four B. You can start sketching in here and start doing little doodles or whatever you're gonna do. Start seeing shapes. There's different options in here and each one will give you a different result this one's you got an eraser different variations you can slice it the eraser and do your standard erasing pastel different options in here too if you go through each one you kind of get that artsy feeling on some of them if you go to the wax crayons pretty cool i like this one it's kind of a good little thumbnail one that I like you can start sketching out little things going from there your airbrush uh, marker and it's just play around with it I guess if you really want to start using this but this is only something I'd, I'd use if I didn't have anything else it's rare that I'd use it unless ZBrush was like hey we're gonna do something and you must use only ZBrush, I guess, right? A contest or something. Who knows? You got your pen and ink down here. You got a calligraphy pen. You know, you can start writing. I guess if you want to learn calligraphy, you can start writing in here. Different things. Your watercolor. You can change your colors. Blend in there. Start sketching. Everything in here is your standard kind of paint uh, tool tool set. The other thing that's pretty cool. I guess if you need to clear your canvas, you can do the control N, just like ZBrush. You got different textures. You can do heavier textures, and push OK. And it'll put a grid on there. So if you go to your oil, sometimes you can see a little bit better that it's got a little bit more texture and it's got like kind of a that different feel towards it. You can blend it. I guess you can use your palette now. Let's see, color blend. You can see it's kind of rough, but again, if, if it's there, I guess if you really need to use this, then, then cool. But I just thought I'd show this. There are like layers in here, but it's kind of clunky. You could probably play with it and get a little bit more out of it, but I, it wasn't really something that, again, is this is, this is more or less if I need to just sketch something really fast and get in here. So say for instance, you have um, an image, you can actually jump in there, or not an image, but a uh, 3D model, you can jump back in there and leave perspective and it'll drop it in there like an image. I'm not... This isn't something that I really need to do. I guess I could sketch on top of it inside a ZBrush, but you know, you just like say first you're just gonna <laughs> sketch out something. You're like, all right, I need to communicate what I need real quick. Just, and I must have these drawing tools. Just get in here and start sketching what you need. That could be cool, I guess, but and I noticed you could go back to your original and it, it'll try to drop it if you go back in here it'll try to drop it to that but 
I don't know if I, I need it unwrapped or what, but it never, it doesn't hit the mark, or maybe I need more polygons, for whatever reason, but even if, if you're just trying to get in here and just sketch or whatever, the, the option is there, you can, you got a paint program inside of Zebra, so it's, it's kind of like the Swiss Army knife of programs, right, if you're, if you're in need and you got a crunch, just don't forget that little paint stop is there. So that's a short video for today. Um, maybe you find it useful, maybe not. I don't know. It's it's been there forever. And I just thought I'd share it again. Just bring it, dig it out of the wherever it's been buried inside a ZBrush. So thanks for watching. Hopefully it was informative.